Okay, I don't care that I said it was the final part or whatever. Unless you want me just to skip on the rest of the people that we maxed the social links with. Let's just finish it. Um, Nozomi, are you here? Nozomi. Oh, hi! Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? He actually called here trying to reach you. Okay, he, a message, I, but I can't quite remember. Hey, hey, don't freak out. Just hang a second. Another letter from a friend. I done good thing, huh? I bet my handwriting isn't so good. I hope you can read it. I found my wife and son. My son's good for nothing punk, and my wife is frightened as always, as usual. Uh, that which, what? Hey, shut up! I'm on the phone. A lot happened. But I apologized for the th a thousand times. I definitely things back to normal now. I guess you could say we're back in love with each other. I realized rather than holding into my pride, need to be suck up and apologize. Thanks to you, Minato. Take care, kid, till we meet again. That's all the end. I hope you didn't miss anything. He didn't leave any contact or information. Whatever. Well, thank you. See ya. Uh, where's Nizumi? I swear I didn't know. Let's get out of here and go to another place where we can maybe... Let's go to Port Island Station. We must finish this freaking video as fast as possible. Once we have all the social links talked to, I'm going just to skip the rest of the days and that's it. I'm going to record the credits, and that's all. Uh, do I know you? Uh, no, not really. Um, do I know? No, not really. Let's go to the where the cat was over here. And let's see if I have anyone to talk to. Um, nope, not really. Fine. That place was where uh, Ken used to stand by himself. Let's go to uh, what to die uh, station and let's see if we can talk with Harfant Arcana people. Bankishi and his uh, Mitsuku wife. Okay, my neck is really hurting right now. Well, it all really deserves it because after all, this will be the, the final part this walk through i'll just record the credits and that's all uh hi do i know you um whatever no i don't know you um i uh, hear you are um uh you're miyako khan right um my miyako's dad if you have a minute could you reset okay all right good i was hoping you'd see that here have a seat Want some takoyaki? That sand here is really good. Oh, I guess you know already, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure thing. After all, he, uh, we ate so much with Miyako, the hanged man Arcana girl. When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Mi Miyako. She came here when she ran away from home too. She really loved the takoyaki. She was a good kid, huh? You're right. She's so good that I wonder if she's really my kid sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I get a letter from Michael. Uh, it's long and full with details about her new life over there. She says she's made a lot of friends. She, she, let's see, she's in cha charge of the rabbits at her new school. And she has to get up early to clean the cages. They yelled at her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy a friend's. I never knew she was that forgetful. <laughs> oh, and she did so well at her record recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Then she goes to talk about how she plays at the park right by the school with her friends every day. 
Her mother is doing well too. They're having a lot of fun together. There's, some, there's something wrong. Having fun sounds nice. Nowadays I come home to an empty house. That room seems so big without them. I wonder if she feels the same way about her house. Now that there is no dead in it. Yeah, poor guy. We put that kid through so much on account for our problems. I feel terrible about that. Anyways, as for you, ah, oh yeah, I forget about this part. You little punk. Please watch that tongue of yours, or I'll call tales for you. Seems Miyako really took a shine to you. She wrote all about you. I can't wait to grow up, Dad. There's, that's why I'm drinking lots of milk. Um, I'm going to marry him someday. <laughs> Girls. Um, um, um. What's up with that, you punk? Were you taking advantage of my little Michael? Weren't you? Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it. And I'm not letting a girl like you touch my miracle with ten foot pole. I'll never let you marry her. Don't forget it. Super Sonic Dash as always. I can't understand why do they always just Super Sonic Dash? And you know what I'm talking about, Super Sonic Dash speed? If you don't know what I mean, that means the Super Sonic sound barrier dashing. You know what the how how the speed is that the speed to dash through the sound. I really want to talk to Nozomi, but I don't know where the hell he is right now. Let's go up here and search for him before we go to Pankishi and meet Mitsuko. He's a gomrit, so he should be here somewhere. Or I so I hope. Okay, let's go to Pankishi and his wife Mitsu Mitsuko. Freaking my back, ow. Damn it, 1.22 a.m. Um, and who are you exactly? The restaurant's employees are being interviewed. I heard that the key to Harikuri's success is its secret menu. Can you tell us more about it, that? It's a little embarrassing, but... One day the student saw what I was preparing and said he wanted to try some. I didn't want to give it to him, but he insisted, so I made him a bowl. He tasted and said, hmm, put some fish flakes in. So I did, and you know what? It was so good, I decided to put it on the menu. Though it wasn't my idea, so I kept it as a secret menu item only. I didn't really appreciate his attitude, but I learned a lot from that kid. He's getting more and more popular in the strip mall. He's pretty much... An idol here. An idol, hmm? Yes. Ah, yes. Nozumi is the one who made the co this coffee shop famous. His appearance and mannerism made be eccentric. But he has a, an encyclopedic knowledge of food. And this is a plate no one else comes so close. All of our brethren know him. Of them, huh? How do you feel about his announced plans to leave here and tour the wor world of food? Wow! Nozomi is already is going to in the way to his own future. And I'm going to have a freaking pain in the neck. In the back of the neck after this video is because I've been recording since 6 in the evening. Yes, you can count the hours if you like. I'm defesting, of course, but I wish him whatever. Okay, I'll just skip through the rest of it. Let's go to Bankisha and his wife. Hello. Oh, hello, Meta-chan. How, how have you been? You have grown so much since the last time I saw you. Come on, dear. There's no way he could have grown that much in chapter such a long time. What? Must have happened to shrank, shrank, <laughs> that he, we shrank, right, Minato-chan? Minato -chan? Ah, good point, good point, we've got meter, they shrank. <laughs> By the way, Minato-chan, I'm, I'm thinking of giving this old place to remodeling, 
I'll make it even shower than the wing of a <laughs> gun. Speaking of which, the schools decided to move the personal tree to another field. It will be pre-planned on a hole where you you can see the whole campus. So our son still watching watch over the school and its students. I know that tree isn't really our son, but it may still makes us me happy. Once my dear wife heard that she couldn't stop crying, as always. Come on, smile, bah! Don't yell in here. Your different will fall off. Anyhow, we'll support the Kukan High School students as best as we can. We look very, you're very mature now, Mr. Chan. You must have been working so hard. Come on, visit us anytime. Well, sure thing, I've been working freaking hard. Yeah, to get to tell us that's a hell of working. Hi. Um, whatever. Get outside from this place. I do believe right now we, the only place that we didn't yet uh, go to is the Kanak Shrine. Then we're going to go to the good dorm where I'll skip the rest of the days until the credit scene comes out. And that's all. Then I'll make my outro. Uh, we have anything here? Kromaro! Hello, little kid! I'm not going to uh, mimic his voice uh, uh, right now. Okay, seems sad. Again, doesn't want to move from. Okay, as you wish. You have the, all the rights. Hello, miss. I never saw you before, right? Um, hello there. Oh, you must be. Um, by any chance, is your name Minato Khan? Yes. I see you. So, you're Minato Khan. Oh, excuse me, I'm Mrs. Kamiki. <gasps> She's the owner of the Kamiki village. I can his mother. My sons talked about uh, with you a lot. I was just thinking about him. Yes, the ghost. If you have time, could we could you sit here and talk about him with me? Okay. That's wonderful. Please sit down. Today is a special day. Okay. I really need to finish it up pretty soon. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another of God's tricks. Today is my son Ignari's birthday. Oh, he'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. It wasn't long enough. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. He had a, a, gen a genetic disease. Me, I'm healthy as a horse, but him. The doctors detected, detected it at birth. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day I wondered if he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But he said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, mo mother. I'm glad to have been given life. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you so much for the life you have given me. That's what he said. He was the one who suffered so much, and yet he said that to me. But my son brought me a lot of joy too. Holding his warm body in my arms after just after he was born, those tiny hands, that first smile, hearing him breathing easily at night, every day I give thanks to for for him being alive. Every day I found new joy in him, and now I'm so lonely, and there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much that I have to keep on going, looking straight ahead. That's how I feel. I'll eat the finest food, visit the most exotic places, everything my boy could never do. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done. One day, when we meet again on the other side, if I didn't have that to look forward, so I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me, when my son's condition worsened, he started writing a fable. But when was clear, clearing out his room, I never found that notebook. 
He said he was going to show it to you first when he was done. I asked why not me. He and he laughed and said, "You will be the second one to see it, Mom." I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. Uh, he did finish it. I have the notebook. My son, he was able to give it to you. You explained how you received the notebook from Akinari, and that you heard the entire story from him. I I see. I'm so glad that he wa that was only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. Uh, thank goodness I can finish my mine. I see. You should uh, hold into that notebook. I'm sure that's what my boy would have wanted. I'll wait for him to tell to tell it to me himself when I see him again. <sighs> now I have something else to be looking forward to. Okay. I'm glad you and I could finally meet. Thank you. There's one piece of advice I'd like to give you, as an old lady at young age and at the whatever. Take a good care of the ones dearest to you. If you wait until their time has come, and you cling to their cold bodies, then it's too late. Everyone who's born will die someday. Not just a canary or me or you. It happens to everyone. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. Gesture, you don't have to make big productions of it. If you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles, the same heartbreaks. We should be able to prop each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people. Always remember that. Thanks for the advice, miss. Madam. That was really touching. I really felt it. Let's go to the dorm and finish off stuff. I don't believe I have finished talking to every single one of the social links. Let's go to back to the dorm, although I didn't yet hear anything from President Tanaka. I wonder why. The devil of Kana. Whatever. Um, let it go on. I'll end the video pretty much pretty soon here. Just so you, you know. The TV is on. Okay. Coming up next. Okay, a special report on amazing commodities corp of Tanaka's amazing, okay. President Tanaka's a failure to uh, account for certain expedition that caused a media stress lately. We now join our field reporter live from the scene. I'm reporting from the amazing commodities front head office where a swarm of journalists has covered. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The attention of the air ha here can be denied. Thank you, we and we'll be looking forward to updates as soon as anything happens. The unaccount expenditure has pranked a massive investigation. Some theories that tax evasion is the cause. Oh, there is no question about that. I remind you that this is President Tanaka we're talking about. He tricks his own viewers for a few extra bucks. I bet he'd slit his mama's throat for five yen piece. Hey, that's very bad talking. No matter how high his net worth rises, he'll never be satisfied. He's lower than the scum on an earthworm billy. All that money and no charity ever seen a dim. Oh yeah, he gave them 10 million yen. Well, I'm sure he's not as bad as that, all that. Or oh, this is just in something that happened in the scene. 
President Tanaka has emerged. He's carrying a microphone. It looks like he's going to sing. Seriously? Greetings to all these YouTubers. Hi everyone. Amazing comedies is here for you. Year around rain or shrine. We have monopoly on the cheapest, high, highest quality goods. Our customers escalate screams because noise is popular. Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds. And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracle left in this, in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing confidence guaranteed. We look forward to our to your business. Okay. H he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a journalist? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, it's as good as free advertising. Okay, it's from President Tanaka. The message reads, Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend you, your pocketbook ever had. And the, that what's in my pocket pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money. Or uh, So what's it to them, how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I'm not ashamed of a single thing. My con conscience is conscience is clear, dear viewers, to buy my predictions guilt free. Amazing comedies here for you, year, year round, rain or sh or shine. Buy now or drown in bitter tears. Bye bye. Apparently, he had no intention to revealing his use of the funds. Hey, has this Tanaka no shame? Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean he can toy with common men's emotion. A self appointing representation of the Joe Q public. I have something to say and whatever. Fat, whatever. Thanks you very much. Just it's Satra, enough. I hate when people say bad stuff about my friends. Okay, anyway, um, I don't believe that's all. Okay, feeling very tired. Okay, go back to your room. Okay. Let's finish this up already. It's 1.38 a.m. Okay. After school. I'm just going to go back to the dorm. We didn't have really much else to do. Jennifer, hello. There's something I can't remember. Uh, I give up. But I feel like there's something really gonna remember. Yes, Shidori. You, you must remember Shidori. I don't believe there's anyone else to talk to right now. That's all. If that's the truth, then I'm just going to go back to the guy with the glasses and that's it. Let's go back to the... Uh, the dorm. Sorry. Okay, yes, please. I'm just right now going to back to the dorm and that's it. We don't have anything else to do here right now, so that's it. Go back to the dorm and that's it. You're freaking, freaking sleepy. You're feeling tired. You can't keep your eyes open. Okay?
Very well. Hmm? Hello, I guess. Okay. Yes. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. What's your mind? You're right. I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. That won't happen. Graduation's today, isn't it? Yep. Okay. We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. Okay. The I'll just skip it because there's no need for it. I'll as well skip most of Matsura's speech because I don't really have much time right now for her to speak. I'll just leave her for the... I'll just leave her to uh, just record the cutscene that comes out. But not the entire speak speech for her. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Are you sure? She's trying to remember. Wow. Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough thinking about her father. Yeah. The cutscene. That That's right. That promise. The promise. That's right, I promise. I owe it all to my invaluable friends. And we have promised to never lose hope, no matter what tomorrow may bring. He simply jumped to them. What the? They escaped that simply. <laughs> Remind me about this that movie. <laughs> the Skimming Bride. <laughs> okay. These are the last moments of the game. So enjoy it. 
Oh my, don't tell me it's already 2 a.m. That's okay. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Okay. Thinking for yourself, not running away, accepting the inevitable. All things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want. What the meaning of their life will be. Okay. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. Okay. When I thought I might never see you again, something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so, I made up my mind. Okay. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this. Um, don't cry. You're right. What am I doing? I understand now. So I should be happy. Hey! <laughs> They're coming. Everyone. They remembered. Okay. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. Okay. He feels a little sleepy. Why not? Okay. Soon, all your friends will be here by your side. You're getting sleepier. Okay, I always choose this one, but I'm not sure if what will may happen if I choose this or the other one. You know what? I'll, I'll try it this time. So it's the same ending. Hmm. Don't worry. I will always be by your side, protecting you. As you can see, she is much more human than a machine, right now, than an android. Okay. Ah. Uh. I'll start the video here pretty fast so you can see the credits as well. Right back. <laughs> 